And away we go. As we heard, terrific crowd. Season's end for both these clubs. Great bounce too. Brogan slaps it down. Martin slips it over the top. Morton. Nahas running out wide into the path of Tuck is marked about 70 metres from goal. Morton wants it. Tuck slow to release it, decides against it. Should have given it to Morton. Kicks inside the forward 50. There's Jack up, missed the football. At the back of chance for Myers. Over the football, Brogan trying to extricate it out of there was Revolt. Slow motion stuff now. Graham is tied up and will have a ball up. Gee, poor option there by Tuck. He had uh, the loose player out to the, out to the right. He went to a one on four. I think at times they've they got to be a little bit creative rather than just be predictable all the time going to revolt. So Cousins starting on the interchange bench. And it's near perfect day, you'd say, weather wise for footy. My balls. Kane Corn's going straight to Cotchin Shake. too, and I'm sure that that's, uh, that he's going to be wearing him like a glove all afternoon. Tuck's had some massive figures this year, including that game against Port when Richmond broke their duck earlier in the season. Morton getting it back out. Down low. Nahas, who likes playing against Port, kicks to the top of the square. It's a mark. Gee, great grab. Great set of hands. Post it is. It was a good contest because Tringo didn't give much either. He Alipay. was right there with him, Alipay. wasn't he? Have a look at this. Like, that's a good con. Yeah, he just he judged him fight. Actually, the downfall for Tringo, he took his eyes off the footy. So, straight in front, through the post. The opening goal of the afternoon. Nahas involved in a couple of uh, early plays. Thought, he's, uh, thought the effort there, too, um, just to be able to break the tackle, get it inside, get into a dangerous spot. Just here, just a roll of the hips and a swag up, and to get it in, really good finish. But good set of hands there by post. Tigers with the opening goal. That was great, Mark. Under real pressure, as Bruce said. Graham up early. Brogan hooked it down, looking for Boat. Martin got a hand pass. That's a couple of first touches he's got. It rolls out towards Cochin. Had it, lost it. Nash crawls after it. Over the top, Boat perhaps could have got a free kick. Nothing doing. And the umpire calls for it. Only the one possession of Ports Adelaide so far. That was Brogan. Had a handball, so... Need to get their hands on the footy. Saw Boak there coming off 22 possessions last week. He's averaging 22 on the season. Nash smothered off the boot. Nahas went to ground. Martin has started well. He finds the footy again, but proceeded to give it away to Broadbent. Across to Corns. Corns hooks it down towards full forward. Across comes Moore. French fist defiantly. Puts it out of bounds and the crowd. Love it. Very much a Tiger crowd today. It's when they've been good too. The Richmond defence being able to help each other out and played a lot of more footy together now and they seem much more settled than what they were in the early part of the season. Well, they lost their first nine, the Tigers, and they won six of their last 12. Port four of their last five. Nahas low. Tackle must be legal. That was high contact. Thank you. Pack, both these teams had the horror nine-week stretch, didn't they? Port in the middle and the Tigers at the start. Moore and his brothers in the opposition colours and then Newman. Fine captain he's turned out to be Newman. As Cassisi has for Port. Here's Connors. Resigned this week. Dangerous kick, but a good one to Morton. He's got a hard edge to him, Morton, hasn't he, in the Look, second half? Yeah, of the season. Looks better up uh, around the play. I think he was getting starved down in the forward line. Tuck bangs it long. Taylor's a target. He's the only one that went in the footy. The rest didn't want it. We'll see on the replay, he's the only one that's interested in going at the footy. The other two are wrestling. His direct Kane, opponent Kane. in Stewart, he was Kane. more concerned with what Taylor was doing, and he went at it. Good set of hands. He's the youngest kid out there today. There's a few teenagers for both teams, but as a veteran gets ready to go. About 18 years of age. It's a good size, isn't he? No, you're right where you are. That's OK. Shane. Taken 51 in last year's draft. Has he snuck it home? No, he's missed it. 
So they miss a chance there. Tigers lead it. A pretty good zone set up too. They, uh, they're already in place. I'm not sure if they had confidence with Taylor or what, but they, um, they were certainly disciplined. Tigers showing plenty of energy to start this one. There they're up. Meyer brings it in. Goes for distance. Long kick too. Outside the 50. Tringo couldn't complete the mark. Roden. Crunchin steals it away. Slips a hand pass across. Fancy footwork by the skipper. Newman kicks inside the forward 50. Not so good. Newman error. Mark is taken down there by Moore. Moore just pops it out wide. Low to the ground. Roden. So Roden's got the footy. Right half back. Cassisi. Speaking of good captains. He's been pretty handy too through a tough period. Been very good. Mm. Yeah. No one plays it tougher than Don Cassisi. And there were doubts too when he first took over, but I think he's uh, he's quietened all those uh, people that were against him. Martin hasn't he started well? Got it to Newman. Cross it comes to Connors. That was interesting. He was really trying to do something well special. Eventually picked up by O'Reilly, the Irishman. Newman again. That's better. Just lobs it out to Morton. Morton back into the corridor. Nahas. Naha sprints to the 50, out wide, not the best man to finish with it, yes it was. <laughs> oh, Graham, under he's the off. chest of Revolt, runs around, kicks another goal. And he's marched to glory, well done Jack Revolt. Tell you one thing, when uh, Richmond is Cousins coming onto the ground, When the Tigers get the footy forward of centre, Port Adelaide look very, very much in trouble. They've gone inside three times, they've taken three marks, and uh, at the moment, if Port Adelaide don't start looking at the football and stop worrying about their opponent, they're going to have a, a lot of goals kicked on them in a hurry. So Cousins right in the guts to start with. Alongside... Corns. So Graham, who got that ball forward to Revo, tucked down low. Brogan's hands to Roden, and he's 150. The ex Tiger, there's a few of those for Port today. Broad bent within range, and misses. Scrapes it in from behind. He's had a good back half of the season, Broad bent. His cousins. It's a mighty cheer. Short to Connors. Not the first thing he's given Connors this year, is it? No. Down the line to O'Reilly. So O'Reilly. Oh, gee, only an Irishman would have picked that way, Dan. There he goes. <laughs> well it's done. Be a difference. <laughs> he goes short. Taken by Collins. Goes across the ground to the other side wing. Newman. What a football early. Looks inside the forward 50. Again, not so flash with a kick. Normally, one of his strengths. Pettigrew is down there. Takes the mark. Just jabs it across to Thomas. Pettigrew season crippled by injury. Thomas has become a valuable player. Yeah, Pettigrew's had a shocking year, hasn't he? Yep. So Broken. To get out there. Into the path of Roden. Politically correct. Nice stuff, too. He slaps it across to Meyer. He was just upended. Strong colt. Some good work done down there by O'Reilly once more. He's good, O'Reilly. Rance did a couple of good things there, got the hand pass off, and you can see the kick finds a teammate from Newman out of defence. This is Tuck. Morton's free. Tuck to midfield, Morton. I'll handle this, Ox. Morton <laughs> alongside the centre circles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got him right. I was going to call him somebody else. Back behind the packets, Trengove. Chaplin comes away. And what's broken? Too tall for him, but Thomas has to try and take Newman on. Cart, Morton, a lot of the ball. Good tackle, Brogan, Morton, tuck, oh, and high. Gee, a couple of hard ones there. Thomas really gave him one, but it was legit off. Yes, in the end, here's Moore. Now, they've got a lot of options here. He goes straight down to King, and then King wide to Graham. For the last time he got it, he found Jack. He goes for goal. If Jack can do it, so can I. Oh, well, oh. that's why he's not the Coleman medalist, eh? Gee, this was tough. Look at this bit. Oh. <laughs> just, needed, just needed some horns, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. charging. I, I, I don't think they're poor player. Um, Thomas. Thomas could do much about it. He just stood his ground and didn't make a bump. Stay out just got head-butted. Nash to Pierce. 
Richmond lead it by 13 after the fast start. Pierce goes towards the outer side, close to the boundary. Brogan. Thanks, Angus. Can't get over this crowd. What a beauty it is. Thanks, One thing John. about uh, Richmond supporters, they're loyal, they're fanatical, Moving and they're patient. I think two out of three. <laughs> Comes in short. <laughs> Meatloaf, eh? Hey, bad. <laughs> Trend Gove. Got it from Moore. Ooh. Kicks it down to Wojtar forward and Logan needs it to sit. Davenport's on the move. He goes wide as still. Schultz. Schultz in very good form last week against his old side. I don't know what they're booing him. I don't think it was his decision to go, was it? No, I don't think it was. That is always tough when you get booed oh. when they show you the door. I would have stayed if I could have, but I'm not. So I had to go on and make a career somewhere else. Yes. David Roden didn't get the booze. No. What's the alternative if you don't go somewhere else and play your trade? <laughs> Retirement. Schultz. Close. And he hits the post. 33 goals for the season, including five last week against Melbourne. So that's been a success going back to his hometown. Well, I think he's, um, his advantage was Warren Treadray getting injured that it gave him an opportunity. And, uh, and uh, he's a confidence player, Schultz. And if he gets a chance, like he has, he can play. So Rance to Deledio to Moore. He takes Boak on Moore, gets away. Deledio out wide to Grimes. First game, not a game to debut. Here's Martin. What a season he's having, and Edwards having his best too. That's a great kick. Didn't break stride. What a brilliant kick it was. Newman, seemingly without an opponent in this opening turn. Morton hooks it back to full forward, and nobody read it except Tringo. Well, he did go to play on two and might be in trouble now. Collins brought down. And the ball. Gee, just uh, no, poor awareness the there. He's taken there. off and didn't realise that the player was he still behind him. Ball. Oh, that's a shocking error. You've got to believe that there's someone behind you if you're marking near the goal square. Bounce about 20 metres out. Graham with the backhand to down. Roden. Trying to thread it through. Corns gave it back to Pettigrew, who kicks it out wide towards the boundary, and it goes out. That's what a captain does. See that, Richo? Yeah, terrific start down here from Mitch Morton. He's playing up on the wing. He made his name at Richmond as a forward in his first few seasons. He's put the ball inside 50 a couple of times, but particularly that last entry, put it to the top of the square. Real team play, something they've been looking for from him. And our statistician, Josh Kay is in pick heaven at the present time. We've had two posters and a goal kicked by post. As the ball goes down towards half for getting a fist on it, well played by Grimes. Davenport does nicely. Hamble not great in the end, but he had a battle, didn't he? Rance brought down now, Boak. Boak looks up, kicks to full forward over the top of Stewart. Gray and Moore. Moore paddling, you want the line now. Now, is that out on the full note? Well Good done. Well done. Just had to, that's all he had to do, and he did it well. So Tiger's doing all the scoring so far. Not sure about uh, Port Adelaide's forward line structure at the moment. Need, uh, need someone back in the goal square as a, almost as a permanent. Should be a free kick. There. West off, just looking for it. And then Boat's hands to Corns, to Pierce. Clever sidestep, and then with a probing long kick to fall forward. Richmond had all the numbers, but Logan stayed down. He doesn't kick a lot of goals, but he's got that, and Port get within a goal. Richo was just talking about Morton, and uh, if you have a look at this piece of play, the, every coach will tell you, you'll see the ball come in, that if you're going to fly for the footy, make contact, because if you don't, this is what happens. You see the ball come in. Morton flies from behind. All he does is spoils his own teammates. And two Port Adelaide players are <laughs> sitting in front waiting for the crumb. I think Morton should either play forward or play the midfield and forget coming down back. Just watching it come in here. You'll see Morton flies. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Nothing. You've got to make contact. And, and he'll learn from that. And he'll, they'll go over the vision. I know they'll have tomorrow they'll be at Mad Monday and all that sort of stuff but that is one thing the coaches hate as if he was wreaking revenge on his own club <laughs> Thomas he disrupted everything it was just chaos thanks to him all the Tigers were affected Pierce Stewart kicks it down towards half forward only man who really went at the football was Rance he thumped it back to CC back to Rance Rance did well flicks it out to accommodate the run at Cochin 
Wonderfully balanced crutch, and he kicks it down towards half forward. King takes the mark. He's 52 metres out. Jake King. Now he can oh, hoof it. Jake King. He can hoof it. He's got a big kick on him. Have a shot, Kingy. Yes. <laughs> Back he goes to Newman. In short. Martin, so Tigers. They've got the loose, the Tigers. A lot of board. Port have settled well, I reckon, the last five minutes, though, after the early big start. Oh, Revolt used his hands all over Carlisle. Advantage Port, advantage Port. So Pettigrew, I think Pettigrew's played about five games for West Adelaide. He had an operation mid-season for the tendonitis. So he's had four or five games in the SANFL back, but he's first today for Port. This season, good kick broad back to Shules. Now, Shaw's about 70 metres from goal. He goes down the line. Good kick. Gray couldn't quite hold it, though. Moore's done well early. Speaking of doing well early, Martin to Connors. Yeah, a good kid, this back kid. to Martin. Look at nice this kid coming out. Nahas, he's a great half back, and he's away. A couple of bounces. Now, he takes on the big guy. A good effect, too. Well, the kick, not so flash. Over the head of Collins. Corns. Just pushing up the ground. The kick came from Nash to be taken by Stewart. Stewart kicks inside the forward 50, and that's a beauty. He spotted Davenport very early and put it on a plate. So Davenport, deep in the pocket. He's had some big days this year, Davenport, yeah. but he's gone crazy with goals, and they tend to come in a batch. I, I was about to say he's a hot and cold player. When he's on, he can string them together. That's where Nahas has got to get better. He's either got to take the player on, or he's just got to hold it up he tried to create something that was only a 50-50. He's got to get better. So Davenport, he did kick four goals in a quarter against the West Coast Eagles from memory back in round two. Not on line there. Tugs it to the left. Here we go. It's contagious. Wants to win mark of the year as well. Was it the Coleman? <laughs> that was no, not even close. So Newman. It's going to go short to Rance. Just back again to Connors. Natural left footer. Oh, it misses target. Corn to the real chance here. And a poor key. Should have goal. He's let them off the hook here, Port Adelaide. They've had a couple of opportunities. They've just got to be composed coming out here, the Tigers. They've got to, if in doubt, they've got to play the safety. Well, that's the long bomb into the centre. Tuck couldn't quite. Now Taylor, elusive. Well done. He's a likely type. Oh, poor decision, Tringo. More. Yes. Away they go. Left this man post, 55 metres out. Centering kick, pushing down there on rebound. He's going to get the free. When you, when you turn your face to the foot, no, 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 Elliot. Hey, watch Jake King, because all he's worried about is grabbing me, so okay. I can't get around. Okay. Oh. Took his eyes off. No worries. It. But when there's a clear block and you turn oh. your, your back to the foot, it's a free. Thank you. Jeez, you'd see that regularly, wouldn't you? Mm. That can't be a free. Got news for you. Rebel. 25 metres out. And he misses. Okay, Going to be second there, and that was a bad miss. Jackson Trengove then will be hey, just Jack. saying thank you to Jack Revolt. What he, he took the wrong option. He actually went to the ball carry rather than going to the dangerous player, which was post behind him. No, needed more awareness. And it, as a young man that he is, he needs to find, you know, he needs to work out his surroundings because at the moment he's a little bit lost. So a few misses here. Davenport's with Corns particularly. And Revolt, big flight the back, Graham. Oh. Oh, right. That's right side, Jackson. Play on. So it's all against the small. Then Nahas puts Cousins on at the punt. Did well, actually, Cousins to Edwards. And then Edwards with a lovely looking kick. It's a goal. Put that down to a oh. assist. Is it? No post. Point. Hit the post. Gee, how many three posters? Yes. Jaden Post. <laughs> Four. Yeah. World record then on world record pace. Yes. In fact, it's never happened before. Mm. Kick outside the 50. So anything is good. Down in front, chance for King. Not often he's muscled out of it. Doing well was Moore. He wanted it most. Mitch Morton, uh, nine positions very early on in the match. Newman, seven. Dustin Martin, seven. Morton's a good player, I think. He's clever, isn't he? Yeah, and can run all day. Yep. That's the beauty of him. Cousins, chance, fumbles. Opportunity for Port to bring it away. 
Nicely worked out of defence, both towards the wing. Well read, though, peeling off. Gudis came up and took the mark. Gudis to Cochin. Quite a few players calling for it in the middle, but none really showing much energy. Had to go back to Rance. Now, Great Connors run. is running hard. Cochin continues his run. That was better by Connors to the outer side. Connors can go short to Collins, and he does. Now he's forward at the wing. Looks back inside. Nice chip to Edwards. Running alongside Nahas. Nice footy by the Tigers. Nahas, just as well, Nash didn't get up a second earlier. It's taken by Tuck. Snaps it down towards full forward. Jackson front. Oh, in the back, surely. They stopped. Two honest defenders. Never seen it before. Oh, that's a first. Well, he's smiling. He, he knows he hasn't taken it. He tried to get it. We'll see it here. It's a good, it's a good tussle. <laughs> that was worse than the last one, Ops, wasn't it? It looked like it. <laughs> Just gave up. My uh, contact team, Brogan. The Richmond have got to start making the most of these opportunities. They've had a lot more possession of the ball. They need to uh, take advantage I've of it. I've never seen that before, Oxy. <laughs> Carlisle came up arguing, but no one had blown the whistle. <laughs> I thought I heard a whistle. Oh, maybe they did. <laughs> We're hearing things as well. Oh, God. It's fine. It's been a big oh, week in footy, hasn't it? No. Let's, let's get me on. Get, let's. It's Grimes, the kid. Good stock, as we said. Mm. We like him, don't we, Den? Yep. Speaking of good stock, Corns gets it out to Cassisi. And a boundary throw in. Right in. It's Cochin. Who Corns is running with, so can't wait to see Cochin have a huge preseason yes. and take his footy to the elite level next year. And I think we'll see it. He and Martin together. So Logan concussed a couple of weeks ago with the great tackle. Kicks to centre wing. Stewart a big flight. Gurdas are even a better one. And then Roden, she's strong through the hips. Handballs forward. Well done, Newman. Chance for Port though. Broadbent went to ground, clever by Gudis, nicely over the shoulder by Connors, O'Reilly, Newman, into the path of Edwards. Now breaking hard for him is this man Martin, who takes the mark. Not a good hand pass. Oh, wonderful desperation came from behind there by Davenport. Tuck, still the Tigers though, control the footy. Collins inside the forward 50. Revolt sandwich falls in front. Chance for King. King snaps. Just wide of the mark. He does okay. See the quick line, doesn't he, Jake? Yeah, he's a ripper. He, I really like him. A lot of people believe that he's limited with what he does. I, I just, you can't, you, you can't buy Endeavour, and he's just got so much of it. She's a good kick by Chaplin to Brogan. Pierce in the front spot. Shoes up the ground. Now Broad Bent. If he can get it on, Porter on here. He does. To Westoff, a Westoff, big bad fumble. Now Boak in the pocket. Can he turn his man inside out in post? No, goes back to centre half forward. Gray tried to protect the ball. Moore's had a wonderful opening term at the back half. So is Newman. Boak, half leg, gets back, left foot, and misses. Down to you, Richo. Yeah, because he's on the bench at the moment, he's just walked the boundary. He's nearly gone all the way around to the Richmond race, and Richmond fans are really enjoying him, and I think he's enjoying it too. He's laughing it up, the boy. Just um, one last time, eh? Mm. Just watch Boke's efforts there. I, I think he, he, he's one player that probably doesn't want the season to finish because he's starting to get his body in the condition that he needs it to be in. Brogan will get a free, just looking at Cousins. Only nine minutes played in the opening turn, using him sparingly, of course, hamstring. Some doubt about he would play. There's the mark in front to Stewart. This youngster showed a lot of form too in the NAB Cup. Straight back. He did, didn't he? Yep. Good set of hands. Paul, go out, please. Yeah, well done. Let's see what he's, he's actually kicks the ball quite well. Man on the mark is about 30 metres from goal. Right behind Stewart. Nice kicking action. Slots it. So scores the level. Tigers dominating the game, but Port have caught them on the scoreboard. Well, they've had their chances, Port, uh, and so have Richmond. It's, every time Richmond get the footy, it just seems as though they're, they're doing much more with it, but that's probably the noise and the uh, the crowd support that they've got. So that does probably can we be swayed slant by it that? towards Richmond. Sorry, Dan. Can we be swayed by that, you and I? No, I don't think we Bruce? can be. I, Bruce might be, but me and you won't be. Uh, <laughs> Harley joking, Bruce. 
<laughs> good, uh, good set of hands here. Just really kept his eyes on the footy. And for defenders, uh, without being able to chop the arms, big fellas like that, they've got a serious advantage if you play in front. He's a good size, isn't he, Stuart? He looks, yeah. he looks a real prospect. He's kicked five in his last four now for Port, so he's building a bit. Pierce, low. That could be in front here at quarter time, Port, which would be remarkable considering the domination of Richmond in the first ten minutes. Good kick by Delidio coming out to O'Reilly, to Connors. And then Connors... Nice kick off the boot. Taylor, well, he should have marked it. He made it look easy. Pettigrew, good tackle. Taylor brought him down. Post, who kicked the opening goal. Just rode an easy tackle. And then Nahas to O'Reilly, to Taylor. He had to wait. Pettigrew got in and hassled him out of it. Wants the boundary line, and Nash finds it. Gee, O'Reilly's impressive. Very, very impressive. He reads the game well. He runs really well. That's a poor, um, it's a poor miss there. But a good second-up effort. Yep. And that's what the coach would love to see. Holding on Corns. He's a side half back. It's only the other way around, isn't it? Yep. He's a good player, Kane Corns. He's a terrific player. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. Westhoff's taking the mark on the wing. City side of the dome. Hugs the boundary line. Well weighted kick. Logan looks inside the forward 50. Gray comes to him, takes the mark. Davenport's on in the middle. I haven't spotted him. Boat goes long down towards full forward. You can see Davenport in the background. He stopped. Only had to go and crumb it. He expected the mark to be taken down there. It was spilt. Came out the back. Is this deliberate? How would you know? I, I still don't understand that rule. And I know all the players don't understand it. And if it had gone out of bounds, it would have been an interesting decision too. Yeah, yeah. Um, gee, Boke's kick wasn't good. It was just a floater, wasn't it? Just didn't make good contact. I don't know why Gray gave it off. He went to the boundary side. Mm. There was no advantage. And Gray kicks the ball as well as Boke, if not better. So Chaplin gets it against Get King. Home! Port looking far better than Richmond right now, aren't they? Yep. Completely on top here. Oh, Dustin. After Richmond had dominated early, here's Moore. High draft pick, Get looks on, a good player. Neat kick to full forward. Stewart will be the target again. Nahas collected by Logan. Westhoff's little kick. Grimes has started well. Out he goes to Morton. Okay. Yeah, Grimes looks comfortable, doesn't he? Yep. I like a player. His first game that's happy to hit that bullet pass and uh, being able to ex execute it. It's a good sign. He hasn't been rushed either, has no, he? No, he's in, he's in control. It's very much like Jack. Still he. No, well, I'm saying Jack's got time. No, I know, and he's in control. He's not Jack yet. Only seen 25 it's his first, minutes. His yeah, first game. Give him, give him a little bit of a chance, Dennis. We rate Jack very highly. That's we all do. I'm saying. You know, Jack, the Melbourne star defender, who's been injured for a fair bit of the last part of the year. Be part of the leadership group next year, undoubtedly. So Melbourne. bounce. Melbourne will have a new captain, Dennis. That'll be interesting to see who that is, won't yeah. it? Yeah, it will be. Left half forward. Brogan tapped Ooh. it down. Right. Thomas taken high. We're down to 33 seconds. No, uh, any Max score. Here, Just putting the harder foot at the moment, Port Adelaide. Well, heard the court play on, so that's okay. Cochin just standing there, minding his own business. Mother the kick of Thomas. Now King goes for a run. Bit of a dalliance with a hand Great pass. Kick. Now he decides to kick into the path of Newman and Taylor. Down goes Pettigrew. Not a good result. Fed forward, Collins. Clock is running. Collins misses. Nine seconds to go, so he had all the time in the world. Gee, that blew an opportunity there. Didn't I? See Pettigrew going to ground. It was a bit harsh, this decision, wasn't it? Well, he called play on. Yeah. So the siren about to go. Well, here he goes, you won. Sure. Do the big torpy. Big torpy, he's set up for it. Now drop no. no. Gee, he struck it all right. They might be in front and up all square. There you go, Mark. Well, he held it like a torpy, didn't he? <laughs> Maybe. He stooged me. <laughs> So, not much from Ben so far. Revolt's got a goal. Port came back strongly. All square Sunday footy that he had. It's 18 apiece.
Two six apiece. Start of the second term, Sunday football at the Dome under cloudy skies. On the way down, Graham taps it down. Cochin's been very good. Kicks inside the forward 50. Storming up, Carlisle takes something off the kick. It was a clever kick at full pace. Puts it into the path of Thomas. Thomas goes inside the forward 50. Lurking at the back. The mark is claimed down there by Stewart. Sorry, it was off hands, mate. It has to be a field bounce. It was off hands. A full touch ball. It has to be a field bounce. There you go. Well, it's good umpiring. I thought it took a deviation. Watch this again. It does bobble. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was just seeing things again. <laughs> <laughs> Having one of those weekends. In front, Morton dragged down. Oh, going nowhere. Down. We'll have a ball up. Let's have a look at it again, then. Just to make closer. sure you're not going mad. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, great eyesight. Thank you. Make a good umpire, Dent. Yeah, you would. So, Cochin. But you're doing well at what you're doing at the moment. Morton back to Martin. Back in by to Newman and now Nahas. Bit ambitious that handball. Gee, that was good play by Nash coming through and a lovely kick to Stewart. Been a bit of space, Stewart, hasn't he? Yeah. Gee, Nahas on two occasions now just trying to trying to be too creative. He's just got to, if he sticks to the basics and doesn't panic. His career will keep going. If he, if he continues to do that, that's where he gets questioned. He was panicky there, wasn't he? So, yep. Stewart looks like being the first multiple goal scorer in the match. He struck it well. Beautiful kick straight over the umpire's hat. He's got two. Port have got the last three, and they take the lead again. Won't be happy with that one. They, uh, I, I think that the, the coach... Uh, would have said to him, uh, would have said to the Tigers, actually, let's hold on to it. If we run the ball, if we get, if we're happy to take them on with our leg speed, we'll be actually be able to really compete strongly. Instead, they're trying to flick it around by hand. If they take the game on, much better chance because they have got the speed. They're, I think they're a bit quicker than Port Adelaide. Yeah, like everyone here today, I'm having a close look at Benny Cousins. There he is on the bench, but he's definitely only played a third of the game time and he's not striding out as much as he normally would. He's definitely being a little bit careful, but come the last quarter, he might uh, oh, put a little, little, little bit more on the line, I'd no, say. You stopped. You stopped. Good block. You're in past Free kick to Port. Brogan plays on, runs into the man on the mark, Graham. It did affect wow. the kick. A high ball inside the 50. Tuck stood up in the tackle. Feeds it outside. Connors. Very close quarters to Edwards. He's in desperate trouble. Great pressure by Port. Captain picks it up. Dom Cassisi. That's fitting. Okay, Mark. Great pressure. Another handball. Another panicky handball. Tuck, cost tuck them another goal. Him. We've seen two two efforts now by Nahas. It's cost two goals. We saw another one there by Edwards. Just that they, first handball, I reckon, got him into trouble. Well, the tuck one. They have got to hold on to it. They, they've actually got. They've got to have the, the belief that they'll be able to ride the bump or they'll be able to hold it with um, without having a prior opportunity, rather than just throwing it away. And here's the poor handball. You see this one here? It's just a, just panicky. And um, you, you give the first one off, or at least at least absorb the pressure so the ball doesn't actually spill out into the open. So wow. Stewart and Corns putting the tackle on. Tigers need a lift here. Wow. They're being completely outplayed now. Both back to Stewart. Paul Stewart this time. Good kick to Thomas. We use Martin there. Now Corns. Corns in board to Roden. And then Roden calling for Shorty. West off and Shores, you'll go across the ground to Logan. 50-50, Delidio did well. Punching to Tuck, quick release, okay. White hands, Nahas run down by Roden. Nash over the top, Logan, little left foot at the half forward. Brogan's got it now. He's got West off really short. He won't make the distance, Brogan. Just the um, opening stats in this quarter. Richmond have had one kick Thanks, and so 11 much. handles. Port Adelaide have had 10 kicks and Not two handballs. Mm. That's where they're getting themselves in a strike. Not enough um, disposal by foot. Well, I put the acid on him. I said he won't make the distance. Back he goes. <laughs> I hope he does. Uh, take a good one for Dean. No, I've got confidence in him. Gee, he's important to them, isn't he? He's 31 years of age, but he's playing as well as ever. 
kicks right there. There you go. Won't make the distance straight <laughs> through the middle. <laughs> Only a couple now, of well, metres in it. <laughs> oh, the big fella. That was a beautiful kick. <laughs> His Sunday best. Oh, I'm going home. Nah, just a couple of metres out. It's a good tackle there by Roden too, wasn't it? And um, cheers again for Kelsey's coming on. But he went back. He knew. He knew that he could kick that. And good on him. Don't rub it in, Ox. Well, he hasn't been known as a goal kicker, but he's he's able to slot it through today. It's his first this year. <laughs> so the margin, 18 points now. And Port skipping away. Graham and Brogan across the centre circle. It was a lovely kick. First goal this year. <laughs> <laughs> I am going home. You're a bit stiff. <laughs> He's got a vendetta with you. He knocks it down nicely again in the action. Brogan, broad bend towards half forward. Big climb down there by Stewart. Lands in front. Crumb by Logan. Hand pass comes across towards Cassisi. Cassisi down towards full forward. Off hands. Flattened in front was Gray by a teammate. Grimes was stumbling under the it. pressure. Hand pass comes across from Gudis, taken away now by Newman then. Kicks towards the wing, turns the ball around. Well done by Moore, knocked it down, but White's got the leg speed. Or did he? Meyer tackled him. And these names, a lot of cross pollinization between the two clubs. Mm. Meyer put down, former Tiger, to have a boundary inside. throw in. Well, it was a good kick by Newman because he had nothing to go to. He gave it enough air and enough length to get it over the uh, over Moore's head. Clever kick. But they've got to kick it more. Boundary throw in then. Brogan with the left hand. Broadbent went to ground. Cassisi nicely done. Wonderful poise. Just the thing we're talking about with Richmond. They haven't got. Cassisi had it in spades. Corns gave it across to Logan. Finds Schultz on the lead. Kicks inside the forward 50. Nice mark. Here he is. Reminds us of Jack. A little bit there. Terrific anticipation by Grimes, wasn't it? So now Gerdes in the back half. Runs a long way. Back inside to Collins. To Connors. They've got to start kicking the ball. Or they're going to get slaughtered. Westhoff's got Tuck. Gone. Has to be. So they, they are, I don't know what's happened, but they've changed, they've changed their style of play in the last, the last seven minutes. Yeah, Ox, the pressure at ground level from Port Adelaide is really good. Richmond just aren't kicking the ball. They've only kicked it four times this quarter and had 16 handballs. Got to start putting the ball oh, here in. Here he is. He's <laughs> within range. Get it quiet, Bruce. <laughs> well, he's within range, the big fella. He's the tackle. He's actually closer. Play on! He's given it off. <laughs> so Pierce, see, I was right the first time. He didn't think he could do it. <laughs> Gee, Port have been impressive, haven't they? The last, the last part of the opening quarter and the first part of this, they are slaughtering. Just, just strangling them, aren't they? Yep. So boundary thrown alongside the behind post here. Dangerous area for the Tigers. Need to hold. Brogan exposed. Gold square. Down goes Gray looking for a free kick. To Cece at the base of the pack. Tucks in there as well. Yeah. Appealing is Rance. Rance will get the free. You dived on it, Dom. You dived on it. Once you dive on it and you don't get it out, even if you are pretending that you are trying to get it out, you're going to be pinged. Rance to Morton. Like Rance a lot too. I think he's going to be a good player. Taking a while to develop, but he gives it everything. Here's Martin. Just lacking a little football now, perhaps. 50. Oh. Should have been. Connors, Deledio, goes short to Cousins, runner alongside, just lays it off. There's Rance again, running it up towards the wing. Feeds it back to Deledio, Cousins slipped over on the side out there. Westhoff, Cousins got a strong shepherd as well, as Westhoff kicks inside the full at 50. And Port playing for keeps, Gray's got the football. Long kick is on to Stewart, will it get there in time? Stewart takes the mark. This is the shorter Stewart, and now he gets 50. That was good hard running by Paul Stewart off half back. You're not in the contest. Not in the contest. I hope I was too late. So suddenly the Tigers are getting streeted. And amongst all this euphoria, they're playing bad footy. Stewart puts it through.
Well, it all of a sudden set to 24 points where Richmond are even battling to get it into their forward 50 at the moment. Grimes here go by the 50. You'll see the mark. It's taken. Oh. Gee, it's not the strongest 50 I've seen. In fact, it's not a good 50 at all. Not happy. Well, you see the 50. I'm not convinced it's actually a 50 metre penalty, but the umpire said that he wasn't a part of it. But I would have thought he was just floating through the air, tried to pull out. Yeah, I don't think it's there. So eight inside 50s to one in this quarter. Gee. And the Tigers, it was in the first minute of this term, they went inside 50. Port get another clearance, poor kick by Nash. Richmond just aren't working hard enough. No, they're not. It's exactly right. They're lazy at the moment, and they're really disappointing. And Port have taken advantage and have been good. And Matty Primus is looking better by the minute. Inside Koch, and now they do go inside 50. Not a great kick, never really got balanced. Chaplin, well done, King. Free kick. There's only one going to the football then. In that first little hand, but Jack, uh, Jack, five his eyes were on the ball, so he's stiff, you reckon? So Chaplin, wide to Brogan, just too tall for him. Well, Tigers either need a lucky break or they need somebody to do something out of the ordinary. They are in a hole at the moment. Well, they can't. <clears throat> they can't rely on Jack Rebot because they can't get the ball inside 50 just yet. They're down by 24 points. Graham and Brogan. Uh, the Ruckman touched the ball, comes back to Graham. You saw that in the video somewhere. Comes across to Collins. Cousins run down. He's not moving too well, Cousins, at the moment. Taylor, just wonder about that hammy. Taylor looks inside, taken by Edwards over the shoulder. Close to the boundary line, Cousins. Can he do something freakish? He's no. moving at about 35% of the month. He is. That was smothered off the boot, deflected across the line by Nash, who got there pretty quickly, but wasn't any acceleration by Cousins around the boundary. Brogan and Graham. Graham front spot. Wins a tap. And Cochin got down. Well played. Corns to Cassisi. And then back to Moore. She has a good take by Stewart. Banged it forward. Now Gray's a clever player. He's got Moore. Little left footer. Lovely kick to Roden. One on one at the moment. They're killing uh, Richmond. Well, they're working harder, aren't yep. they? Yep. Well, that Stewart one was a perfect example. Yep. He just attacked the footy with gusto. He got, he was able to get his uh, foot on the ball, and then all the forwards are leading up at him. It's, uh, it's a good setup. Talking of big stories, isn't this a big football story? David Roden, mm. ex-Tiger, 150th game today, and kicks the goal. But if they're not careful here, they're going to be blown out of the water before half time. A lot of, lot of emotion, and uh, we know Richmond haven't been the best on emotional games. That uh, now that they seem to come out flat, they came out okay. It's just that their second part of the uh, of this quarter, in particular, they've just they've, they've been smashed. <laughs> what was the first part of this quarter that was good? <laughs> oh, second part of this game. Oh. No doubt at ground level, Port Adelaide are running a lot harder than Richmond. They're kicking the ball. There's two distinct styles here. Richmond are over-possessing with handball, whereas Port are running hard into space and kicking the ball longer. They're getting the benefits. They're smashing the Tigers at the moment. Richard, I've got a question for you too. Uh, Benny, is he close to being fit? Uh, I've got real doubts on that, uh, Dan, for sure. He's certainly not striding out and he's not playing much game time. I know it's like smacking Bambi, but even so, they could be... Umpire Baylash, is he still around? Put the right hand on the shoulder, one short. Could be. Could be. He's off the ground again. Still looks good, though. The big biceps. According to my wife. 7627. Seven. I'm just moving closer to you, then. <laughs> oh, no, you, you got nothing to worry about, Bruce, I can assure you. <laughs> I'm feeling real good now. He's up on a tangent. It's out of bounds. We'll have a boundary thrown on the 50. Well, it's interesting, though, the philosophy of if the guy's not right. Still, we saw that with Adam Simpson. Although he played well, didn't he? Remember? Yeah, he was good. He couldn't walk, but he could run and kick. 
He just didn't stop. Gotcha. <laughs> That's right. The moment he stopped, he was shot. Here's White back towards the middle. The mark is taken by King. Now, we saw him in warm-up, Jake King, kicking some of the most beautiful kicks you've ever seen. He can kick the ball 65 metres, Bruce. Believe it or not, we don't get to see it all that often, but just watch this. He'll go back and he'll slot this through and he'll go through post height. I tell you who Cotchin reminds me of, actually. It's Ben Cousins' dad, Brian. He was a good player. Slippery. Very quick. Here we go. Just take note of this, Bruce. So Kingy gives it right for and puts it through. You're a good judge. Why weren't you calling when Brogan lined up 10 minutes ago, <laughs> Ox? Well, that's... Uh, uh, the warm-ups <laughs> before the game, Bruce, they're so, impo they're so important. <laughs> I didn't see Brogan have any shots of goal beforehand, but um, he was kicking he was kicking goals like that in the warm-up. It, it's important that you go through the same routine in your practice as you do on game day. Yeah. We work so hard, we don't get a chance to see the warm-ups. No, you don't. Busy. Kicked eight goals in his last four matches, King, coming into the day, which is a terrific yeah. return. He's been busy on the scoreboard, and he's someone to look forward to again next year. Yeah. I mean, he's really had a tough time in footy to establish himself. Martin, who we saw a lot of early. Gee, Westhoff was good there, and then Cassisi, Cochin, who's had a couple of clearances in this term. Now can the Tigers put some pressure back on Port? Stewart's been good, kicked a couple of goals, got a little bit of a shove. Didn't fall over. That was important. Oh, well Good done. hands to Westhoff. Back to Roden. Archers his back. Roden back inside to Nash. Protected the footy beautifully. And then... Back here. Up here. Matt, Matt, back it's a here. good trip. I like what Nash was trying to do there. Well played to Boak. Now, he does battle. Boak kicking for goal. Dennis. Here's the mark. Yep. Went to play on and just got a little trip. He's one goal, six boat from set shots this year. Mm. That used to be reportable, didn't it? It did. Mark's here, trap. Yeah. If, if it was Dustin yes, Fletcher, he would have got three weeks. That wasn't accidental. <laughs> that was smart. Clearly, smart. clearly yeah, deliberate. Oh, this is one area of the game he has to get uh, much better at. Well, well, he's on the way, Ox. He's on the way. That's a good return. Two so, sets. So Port stretch their lead again. Gee, that was nice and well. I, I reckon he's now got his body, as we said before, Bruce, his body's now right. Mm. Uh, uh, the first half of the year he had the, um, I don't know if it was hips or it was OP, but he was certainly struggling struggling with his core. With the groins. Yeah, the groins. and uh, he's, he looks really in control now. And I, I, If he gets right, Port Adelaide are going to be such a better side. He's so important. There's a big signing that they were able to sign him up during the year. And, um, yeah, they've done well to keep him. So Cousins is back out there. He's played only 16 minutes so far of a possible 48. And to put that in perspective, no other player on the ground is under 30. Well Graham just fell over. Brogan well tried to knock it forward. Goes after the footy. Well done by Thomas in there a couple of times. Emerging with it, though, is Graham. Kicks it out towards the wing, and that's good enough. Edwards on to the loose ball. Looks down towards the 50. Not a particularly good kick, demanding something of Tuck. He's hard against the line. He pulls it back. Revolt won't get to the contest. Chaplin will drop the mark. Out of bounds. Still, um, Richmond haven't been able to, um, you know, overusing the handball. They've had 77 kicks and 81 handballs, uh, where Port Adelaide, 84 kicks and 39 handballs. Good to see Terry Wallace there. Close to the press. Gary March. So, Tigers... Nice. They need to close this gap before half time. Fantastic crowd here. We've talked a bit about that. It's a big crowd, isn't it? And the two sides playing no part uh, going forward after today. Boak's handball cut off by Tuck. Now Morton and Morton hooks back to about 20 metres from goal. Port had the numbers. Revolt. <laughs> Clever. It was going to go through, but. Uh, Hold on, he hadn't signaled yet. Chaplin got back. He's freakish with, uh, with how he's been able to find yeah, his his angles with his foot. Kicked a really important off the ground the last time yeah. these two teams played in the mud at uh, 
Amy Stadium when Richmond broke their duck earlier this year. There's something that sets him apart, no question about that. Chaplin's high ball, Brogan having a real influence on this game. Well, Graham's just a little bit out of petrol at the moment, struggling to keep up with Brogan's run. Mm. Boak on a hard lead. It's a nice story too. Boak looks down the line. He's re-signed. All set to go again next season for Port. There was some speculation. West off. Good mark. It's one out forward. Schultz. Moore must be feeling very nervous. Well, he didn't show it. He stayed on his feet. Split the mark. Recovered. Good football by way here. Collins through midfield. 54 plays, 26. Cousins measures the hand pass. Nahas held the run of Collins up. That's indiscriminate just over the top. Diving in down there, Kane Corns. Nash did well. Got the ball across to support and they'll bring it away. Meyer involved. And it finishes up with Cassisi. Pops it out wide. West off. Runs the wing. Kicks inside the forward 50. Just over the head of Schultz. Leads back in the race, Schultz. Schultz, it sounds extraordinary, but he was too nimble. He pops it towards full forward, runs towards the opposite pocket, broad bend, tried to go to Pierce. Great defensive work down there. Slapped away by Collins to Cousins. Around the outer side, White chips it to King. White barking the instructions as he goes. Well, he stopped. She should have just kept going, shouldn't they? They had a bit of momentum up. Rodens kicks a beauty to half forward to Broadbent. That's where they should have gone earlier in this quarter to Broadbent. It just goes bang with a long one and another poster. Broadbent was on his own to set a half forward about a minute and a half ago and really Unbelievable. Port, Port blew a big chance. But talk about blowing big chances. The, the game's just opened up in the last five minutes. It's whoever makes the least amount of errors at the moment. And Cousins finding a little bit of ball, and every time he does, there's oh. a mighty roar. That's a good kick. Inboard to Tuck. Running hard, Collins, good kick. Quickly to Lidio. Morton, and back inside the handball. Clutch it on the left foot. Well, that's a terrible result. Well, considering uh, he had Delidio running down the flank for him as well. Logan takes a good, solid mark. Nice talking by Westhoff, bringing him back as well. Corns chips it out wide. Davenport. Davenport goes along the line. Roden stretching takes the mark at right half forward. I'm sure they're working hard, Port Adelaide, though. They're Every terrific. time they get the ball, they're just off. And Richmond at the moment too slow to get on to the counter-attack. From counter-attack into defence. Now Westhoff just moments ago, I mentioned him calling his teammate back into the mark. Down at right half back. Well, he's switching with Brogan, isn't he? And uh, they're really really working uh, hard the two big ruckmen i say i'm a bit of a fan of port just missed that jumper the old picket fence bruce mm. yeah, yeah. what about teal with the black couldn't we do that bruce i just want to see that jumper again best jumper in the history of footy in he comes and he tugs it left and puts the it history minus got history in the history yeah. even Christy better than, even better than west perth's it's it's a good one i reckon we've got two great jumpers in the snfl Important the Sturt jump is a beauty as well. Yes. And I used to bury for Nord and Woodville, so there you go. But now nah, they're great goons. He's they played well port so far. Very well. And Westhoff's been a beauty, hasn't he, today? He's, he had a terrific match against the Crows. He kicked four goals in that match. In fact, Port's two wins against Adelaide have been two of their high points this year. That's the problem right there for Richmond. 24 clangers to 13. The second quarter in particular, that's far too many. Any side will carve you up if you're going to turn it over that often. So Brogan White puts the tackle on. Pierce tried to get it out. Roden down low. Has to release now. White all over him. O'Reilly. And then Corns gets hold of him. Moore hacks it forward to centre half forward. Davenport, well done. Strong through the hips. Held his ground on Newman and takes the mark. That's a really good mark because Newman's a strong fella. And he was able to uh, move him out of the way. Just they've, they've tackled really well. They've just been able to, and they've, they've moved the ball on by foot. They, every time they get it, they just boot it, and they rely on their players one on one. They've had 13 marks inside 50 today, Port. Now they've averaged 10 marks a match yeah. for the season, so it's just another stat that shows their superiority today. And Davenport struck that beautifully, and Port Adelaide charging away here.
We have seen Richmond come from behind a couple of times this year and uh, able to overrun sides, but until they decide to kick the footy and get the ball inside their attacking 50 and put Port under pressure, they've got no chance. They have to start imposing themselves on the game because at the moment, Port Adelaide are in total control. They're playing smarter, they're tougher, they're harder, and they're willing to run for each other, unlike Richmond. Well, we're not sure how many teams will need new coaches next season. Matthew Prime is certainly in pole position now, I would think, with this team. Dean Laidley alongside. He's gone. He's already said that he's leaving. Yeah. But of the teams available, and it's a pretty thin list, but you wouldn't, oh, be, well unhappy. You wouldn't be unhappy getting caught. Meyer, that was brilliant. Bounces off the chest of Stewart. All one-way traffic. Nice. And Go to the voice. I think he was trying to hook it around the corner, either to Gray or to Thomas. Gray oh! kicks it off. What a beauty. Deep in the right full forward pocket. Snapped it back. Fantastic goal. Everything rolling for Port. They career away to lead by 42 points. That's one of the great goals. That is brilliant. For anyone out there that thinks that this is easy, that's a great bit of play right there. They kept the ball alive. They kept it going. That is just brilliant. Mm. So he's got it perfectly too. He kicked a magnificent goal, the dribble last week. Yeah, the long dribble. He's clever, isn't he? And he just needs a couple of opportunities. Because most players would have thought he would have gone back in back inside. You know, I know it's been said before. It was Gary Ablett like, what the way he turned there and hooked the ball back. That was so Ablett like. Yeah. He's a he is a special player, Gray. He's got real gifts, hasn't he? Well he's a bit like both. They need to get their bodies right, a good pre-season for them to get the best, you know, out of them next year. Speaking of pre-seasons, Cotchen, who you talked about earlier. Gee, we didn't see this coming, I reckon, at the five-minute mark of the first quarter. Now, this is this is a thumping at the moment. And it's all unravelling, isn't it, on the field. Richmond... Might be just a bit of a learning curve, too, for Damien Hardwick to... You know, maybe the players were, you know, up for the wrong reasons or they, they weren't switched on enough. But you'll, you'll learn from the big hype and the... You know, the, the games that Richmond will have going forward. So Corns, speaking of going forward, belting it forward. Moore, who was good early, but they've uh, been under the pump. Rance ran it out to Deledio. He's Deledio's one man you want with the footy for Richmond. Kicked by oh. Connors. Chapman couldn't quite. Gee, that was good by Collins. Whipped it away. Nahas should kick the goal. Nah, Carlisle did well as the goalkeeper at the back. Bruce and Brett Deledio got a handball at half back there. They need to try and get him into the game more. He's only had two kicks, and he's probably Richmond's best kick of the ball. They put him in the centre. He needs to get his hand on it now. Thomas over the top of the hand pass. Slow and arriving. Trengove back to Stewart. Paul Stewart. Well, O'Reilly just corralled him. Trengove in a tight situation. The high ball. Brogan comes to it. Superior strength just plucked it away. To get the man in front rule. Kick inside the forward 50. Big pack at the drop. Logan is through. Open goal beckons. Two it goes. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is turning into a disastrous afternoon for the Tigers. It's a rout. Well, I just, just want to see this one of Brogan. He's taken the mark, but I thought, I thought it could have been paid to the man in front. Gee. It's touch and go, but they're away, they're off. Look at this for a piece of crumbing. What's the ball at the ground? And that is where you need to be. Yeah, great work there by Logan and a terrific finish. Anyone who wants to crumb, just have a look at this piece of play by Logan. Front and square, good contest by Stewart. And that's where you need to be if you want to be an opportunistic forward. Beautiful play. So Logan, two goals for the fifth time in his career. And Port with their most productive quarter of the season, a nine-goal term. Brogan so good, involved early. And then Cassisi, Connors to Graham. And they've got to give their fans something before halftime. That's an awful kick mm. to Trengove. Well, they're playing like Richmond a, you know, a couple of years ago, aren't they, or last year? The last game of the season, you want to take something into the break mm. with you. At the moment, they can't take anything in. So, good mark by Logan. Gee, that's a good hey, mark. Man. Over a pretty good opponent in Delivio. Yep. Careful kick. 
West off good hands. Two metres, David. Gee, the two Adelaide teams look like finishing the season on a high, don't they? Out of the finals for the first time in a decade right. together. Davenport's oh. kick to Stewart. Oh, oh, oh. They, now, it didn't matter who they were playing on there. The four kicks that went down the ground yep. and the marks, <laughs> no one would have stopped them. Could have had Geelong's defence there and they wouldn't have stopped what just happened. Clinical. And Paul, Beautiful, wasn't it? Paul Stewart before today had only kicked two goals in his career. One of them was last week against Coming Melbourne. Number four. And, and he's lining up for his second goal today to double his career total. Playing his 38th match. Would have been magnificent. There you go. Straight through. <laughs> Gee whiz. Well, I don't, know. I don't know what Richmond can do. They can't win the hard footy at the moment. Looking at the stats, gee, there's not... Um, they're, they're leading possessions, Richmond, 191. 93 kicks to 98 handballs, that's the issue. Because uh, Port Adelaide have said, all right, what we'll do is we'll kick the ball long. 111 kicks to 56 handballs. So that's clearly working. Just behind that umpire, Jack Revolt, virtually reduced to a spectator after that early goal. Coleman medalist. But this afternoon, not much to smile about. Mind you, he's used to sharing the spotlight too. For Jack, he constantly hears about Cousins. <laughs> so Cece did well. Out of the middle, nice work by Logan. Kicks inside the forward 50. It runs towards the boundary now and goes out. They've got to get the ball to Revolt. He's got to kick some goals because this game almost gone. The margin nigh on nine goals. Only 18 tackles too to Richmond in the first half. Port Adelaide 29. I think that says a fair bit about their work rate. Boundary throw in. Graham and Brogan over the top. Cochin finding a way through again an opportunity. Close to the boundary line. It goes out of bounds. Boak with a hand pass. So we're down to 18 seconds. Cousins came on after that last goal with 40 seconds to play in the turn. Graham. Brogan looking for someone to lay it off. Goes alone. Cassisi smothered off the boot. Down to nine seconds. So this is where they look really vulnerable. And I wouldn't be surprised if they get another shot at goal here. Gee, if they kick a goal, it'll be their... Josh has just been telling me that it'll be their most productive quarter ever. They're... Ten ever. goals to ten fives, the biggest quarter they've ever had. That was against Brisbane in 2001. And oh, here they, they are, rolling it off the ground, oh. can't quite. <laughs> so there you go, the second best quarter in Port's history. Uh. Over a thousand quarters they've played, and the Tigers, they're toothless. They're without a bite, aren't they? It's been all Port. They've been fantastic. This is uh, the young. O'Reilly, the young Irish boy, yep. he's, he's been, he gets tackled. Oh, shoulder. Shoulder gets jammed up under. Mm. His right shoulder lands on his elbow. So James O'Reilly, just his third match, injured at half time and a port. Fantastic second quarter. say goodbye to, to Ben. Start of the second half at Etihad Stadium. Brogan. Tigers need a spark. My ball to Ben, no prior. Do you know um, Port Adelaide's biggest home and away crowd ever, Dennis? Do you know when it was? No. Their first game against the Pies. Oh, OK. Round one, 1997, I think it was. And they were pretty exciting right from the get-go too, weren't they, Port, when they came into the AFL. This kick down towards half forward. Ooh. Meyer wanted it most. It was a good mark against his old club. Swings it out very wide. Paul Stewart on the overlap. This is Pettigrew. Searching kick inside the forward 50. West off. Gee, their kicking has been outstanding today. Gee, they've been good when they've gone inside 50. they found so many targets. Justin, it's there. Daniel's there. Been very dangerous. 
But it's the ball movement, the, the speed in which they're moving it has caused Richmond all their issues. Take a good kick from here, but this guy is capable of it. Tough for a right footer, though. Virtually has to give away the goal. Oh, he's done it. I'll tell you what, that is spectacular. Talk about good kicking. As good as any right there. Well, I think he got that off, the, off his instep then, Dennis, just watching the way the ball swung from his left to right. The ball coming in, though, this is the one. Nice and long and hard and fast. But his kicking action, I reckon it came off his instep. So not by design, is that what you're saying? Here it is. See, just off the instep. And actually, players now are practicing being able to swing it left to right in their training. What a, what a remarkable scene we're seeing here. Richmond led two goals to nil. Now, that seems a long time ago, doesn't it? Porter kicked 13 of the last 14 goals here. And their footy has been so clean. Now, we haven't said that about Port too often. In the last two or three seasons, clean footy. I can't remember them going backwards too much today. They've been brilliant. Moore's kick to Paul Stewart. He's kicked a couple of goals today to double his career total to Boak. Boak to half four. That wasn't such a good go, kick go. to Lidio. Richo talked about the fact he's got to get the footy in his hands and kick it because he's the playmaker, you would think, for the Tigers. Morton to Moore. Now, squeezes to Graham. Brogan's just got loose numbers back here too, Port. They've got a good setup. Brogan's been way on top of Graham today. Revolt, nearly. Oh. King, well, he'll kick a goal, a badly needed one. He's got two. Gee, a good contest by Revolt. Yeah. I, I didn't think he was actually going to make contact with the ball and it was going to be an unrealistic fly but he's just got his fingertips to it which made it uh, a legal jump and uh, opportunistic by Jake King he took off and uh, not often do you get caught running into goal like that you're always running it probably a little bit quicker than you normally do when the big sticks are in front of you and you'll see it here Revolt just makes contact and King beautifully done Good chase. Mm, Didn't give up the ghost, did he, Moore? No. And that's a wonderful attribute for a forward to have. Really outmarked Revolt. Splits the pack. Wow. Invariably, the ball comes to the ground. Brogan into the back of Cochin, if you don't mind. Spills across to Pierce, who's been pretty quiet. Goes down towards half forward. On the lead. Schultz got the angle wrong, I think. Tracks it. Thought it was out of bounds. Goes with the outside of the boot. Down towards full forward. Ray's being held. No oh. free kick. Comes back towards Newman, Edwards, Nahas, Martin, strength, well done. Not the best hand pass in the world, Graham. Oh. Wonderful pressure will put out oh, his hand by a free boy, kick. Boy, which one free? What is going on there? There should have been two free kicks to Port Adelaide then. Yes, the you. tackle was brilliant. Fire Graham fire just threw it. And then they get the free kick. They're feeling sorry for them. Yeah, Gray was being dragged down. 10 metres out as well. Nahas has got the footy anyway. Back to Edwards. Edwards searching kick. What a good kick too in the direction of Revolt. Could have almost got a free then. He was taken underneath. What they call it? Tunnelling. Close to the boundary line. Pettigrew along that boundary line. Carlisle. Chaplin wants his left foot or at least his left fist. Did okay, got it to Moore, up at his toes, dancing like a prize fighter. Kicks it around the outer side wing. Connors comes up, takes the mark. Looks back inside the 50, sets it long. Revolt favoured by the kick in from the side. Spilt down there, I think it was post. Picked up by Trengo. Port bring it away. She's a good minute of three though. You feel like suddenly Richmond have got a taste for it again. Yours, yours. And Porter in good form. Running hard more. Back to Roden. No panic, though. Back to Carlisle, to Roden. Quick feet. <laughs> In the end, he just ran out of room, and Taylor cut it off, and now post. Little ball inside. White. 
And right into the pocket. King's got it. Kick to King. He's working really hard, King. A couple of leads then. He's pushed right back up the ground, then came back through the middle. Back there. He's going to think his way through this. Well, he's kicked, uh, as I said, eight goals in the four coming into this match. He's kicked two today, King. Just swing out here. Got close to the man on the mark. Won't be a goal. It's still in the field of play. Off revolt. Chaplin. There's a little tunnel hamper. Oh. Brogan cut off by Cotchen and kicks it behind. But at least you feel like the Tigers are up for the first time since about the 10 minute mark of the first quarter. I think yep. what Chaplin will learn there, you don't do an underground handball to a ruckman. Mm. Just spells trouble. He's been good today, Brogan. That wasn't his best movement, but he's been very good. <laughs> so Meyer, who's generally kicked in pretty well, goes very short, not 15. Oh, down goes Moore. Opportunity as Revolt gives it across to support. Morton kicks a goal. That's to give a course in how to fix a fella. Well, we're just talking about Port Adelaide not panicking. Well, the last couple of efforts trying to come out. But the Oxford, I don't think they panicked. I mean, he kicked the ball short to Moore. It was called not far enough. That that was the problem they had. Yeah, but, but also on the other one with yeah. Roden before. They've, they've just, they haven't been able to get that long kick out the last two times. And on that occasion, that went about seven metres. Wasn't so, good. No. Well, the Richmond fans are going berserk down here. The cheer squad's up and going. Yeah. They sense that this is the uh, opportunity to get the Tigers back into the game. They've come back before this year, and this big Richmond crowd's right behind them. Well, job to do. They're 46 points down. Charging off the line on the outer side was Kaplan. Went to the deck. In goes Brogan. Certainly the tempo has left it. Martin, a good tackle from Thomas. Wrenches the ball away, but... Thomas fights kind with kind. Well, they haven't used their biggest asset, which is the crowd. After those first two goals, they've had so many goals keep the game that Richmond supporters were falling asleep. They gave the Swans 33 points. Remember that at the G1 Sunday afternoon and got over the top of them. But they were a lot further behind here. But they're up. And the next goal or two tells a tale. Beautiful kick by Morton to Newman. Lovely kick to Taylor. Brilliant mark. And then Taylor can he kick? No, it's a poor kick. But Reeve on a post. Didn't take the mark. Carlo hacks it out. Well, here he is. back from the dead, the kick. O'Reilly kicks to the top of the square. Boys, Troy Chaplin. Oh. Against Collins. You know, they had two on one then. They just had to think through it. Crowd doesn't like it. So Chaplin in the back pocket. Good looking kick off the boot. Brogan the target. And the mark is taken by Rance. Spoil and caught his own spoil. And just moments ago, young Taylor. No sense of the fairy tale. Cousins was on for the hand pass. He had to give it, didn't he? Yes, he did. There goes the kick inside the forward 50. Revolt stays out of the contest this time. Slapped out of there by Trengove. Corn's going to be taken high. So too Thomas. He gets the free kick. Not sure. Stay back on. Not sure what Jake is going on about there. He claimed that mark. Did he? He, he claimed. Well, he paid the, paid the mark, and he, he clearly broke and had two two hands on it. Yes, it's gone right. up though, hasn't it? The, yeah, it's the, terrific. The intensity's gone up. They found a. Um, they finally found a little bit of form here. The Tigers. Good pressure. Yeah. Well, they needed to come to the party because Port were playing brilliantly from the get-go. Close to the boundary line. This is Cassisi. Outside the defensive 50. Up by 46. But the margin was 53 at half time. So Port get the next goal. It's back to 52. So for all the huffing and puffing. At least we're seeing a better game though. Schultz comes up. Good pressure applied by Gudis. Forces the ball out of bounds. Just swinging some changes. Uh, Morton coming off. Cotchen coming on. He's worked pretty hard. Mitch Morton. Leading possession winner, 18 he's got. So Schultz without a goal and Port have kicked 13 so far. I think that's Collins is down. He's holding the footy. Justin Martin, 
So Martin gets it. It's a big Colleges collision. down. Revolt the target. Good mark, though. That was Rance from the side, and Collins picks himself up. There's a big collision that, um, that Collins was involved in back, back. on a loose ball. And that's a good effort there by Rance coming back. And they've got the advantage. Sorry, Richmond is so far behind, but the crowd and the feeling, you feel like they're closer, and Port will think that as well. But, well, you've got to kick those. Got to kick those to get that illusion happening and continuing, don't you? Yeah. Sorry, Ox. No, no, it's just... They're always concerned about revolt, so players like Rance can actually dr drift down and have a real influence. So uh, uh, they've got to get away from kicking the oh, revolt and, and look at these other blokes floating through because they could easily pick up a cheap goal or two. Chaplin out of the back pocket. That was 15. A floater just outside the defensive 50. Helped back in. Moore does nicely trying to lay it down for Meyer. Showed wonderful commitment, Meyer. In goes both. His claimed immediately held to him. Ball up. Just have a look at uh, Ben Cousins. Uh, not Cousins, Connor. And he's Ben Cousins right there. That's Collins actually holding his head. And his Cousins holding his knee. Yes, Naha's kicking it straight up in the air. Heard the umpire. Good early call. Fisted out wide. Leading in the race is Stewart. He's a loper. Getting underneath him. White, but then White. Rolls across the boundary line. They're desperate now, at least. They, uh, I dare say that uh, Damien Harbick at halftime would have been tearing the paint off the walls to give them a bit of a, a spark. Well, he said to Richo, we've got two ways of going, don't we? We either meekly submit or we fight. Well, they've chosen the latter, which is good for them and good for all of us. Toledo kicking forward. King's been good. Yours out. He's helped with the spark. Cousins to tuck. And then tuck high. Revolt again, splits the pack. Taylor, little toe poke. More courageous, caught the high tackle, no free kick. Now he might be in trouble. Ball can't quite get out. Oh, no. No. No, it Crowd don't like it again. <laughs> Court should thump it through. And they do. He's saying to make it on the full, is he? You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to tap replicate. it through from a ball. Guys, guys. Five is that minutes. correct? Back, Dave, back yeah. to me. Oh. Back on. <laughs> I've got no idea. No. So White kicks the goal, and the Tigers a long way back, but they're coming. Now, what I think it is, if you have a ball up in the boundary line, Bruce, and you tap it over the boundary line on the full, it's a free kick. So it's the same thing. If you tap it through for a behind, it's it's the same. So you, you win the free kick. That's how I'm interpreting it. Well, it wasn't a great bounce either. It gave him no alternatives. It floated back towards the goal line. No. So some breaking news. That's huge news here. Concerning Matthew Knight's future at Essendon, we believe that he's gone. But more about that at three-quarter time. G-A-W-N. Yep. G. Stewart over the football, slips it away. Corns looking for Boak. So Port with a bit to do here now. Just repel borders under pressure. The big guy Graham going after it. Pettigrew trying to wrench it out of there was Martin. Nothing doing. Umpire calls for it. So gee, that's a huge story. Talking before about what clubs you would like to coach, what clubs were likely to be open. There's another one with almost double down numbers on. They didn't take uh, much time to get to that decision. No. He, was here, he was here last night coaching. Goes with one of those lifetime guarantees. Cotchin. Westoff did brilliantly. In trouble. Broadbent went to ground. Corns kept it going. Terrific. Into the path of Roden. He's away. One bounce. He sends it long down towards full forward. I'd like to be on Schultz. Well, Schultz should have marked it. He dropped it. Tried to cycle it off the ground was Thomas. The ball is wedged in there. Schultz is hurt. Meantime, Gudis very untidy. Goes looking for Newman. Hard man to get down, but Newman bulldogged him down. Roden hit the deck. Ball spilt free. Taken across the line by Moore. I reckon Schultz has copied off his own teammate here. Let's have a look at it. 
He was just about to go here. Bang. Just copped a boot from his teammate. Shot so good overhead, you would have expected him to mark that. It was a good kick too from Roden coming in, wasn't it? What a great tackle by Newman on Roden a moment ago. Martin's handball, Edwards, well done West off. He is mercurial but misses. Just, um, just watch this one again. Watch Schultz. Bang! Meanwhile, Thomas cuts it off. You reckon Richmond's only got one roll of the dice here, haven't they? They're good. They yeah. just, For they... them to get back, it's all got to go their way. Yep. And that they can't be missing easy shots a goal like we no. saw before. Can't do that either. No, exactly. They're, they're on a tightrope right now. And uh, Thomas could push them off. Across the face of goal. Stewart couldn't Ooh. quite. So boundary throw in. Port in attack, leading by 40. But it does feel closer. Some uh, Eagles fans coming in. To see the ex-Eagle finish up. One of the best Eagles of all time, no question about that. Roden hits the post, the fat bit. Is he the most loved, Dennis? I would think so. That's hard to yeah. that's hard to work out, isn't it? But Peter Matera and Chris Mainwaring were, were loved. Yes. Glenn Jakovic. Yeah, they had some great players. Warsfold, of course, although he's testing the love at the moment. <laughs> Probably why he's still there, then they didn't love him so much. Oh, <laughs> if he was at Essendon. Everything good that's happened to that football club he's been involved with. As the ball comes out from Moore, big pack, off hands. Off came Corns, just looked up. Manor from heaven went to Boak. Now, how does Boak find that much space? Dave has got a question mark over Boak's kicking. He split the middle last time, and this is a pretty important kick. One Please. sense is it puts down the resistance ox. What's his uh, two from two, two goals? Six, six, two six from, from set, set shots. shots. Yeah, but set shots, it depends where you take them, surely. Yes. I mean, this. If you're kicking them from the boundary line, it's Well, that's hard. right. That's yeah. right. So we like him from here. He likes himself now. We love him. On very good terms with himself. He puts a throw, and this will test the Tigers. We just need to kick one goal against the side making their run and all of a sudden the air comes flying out of their tyres because they, they, they're actually on the move. They were ready to they were ready to pounce the Tigers. Yep. And unfortunately, uh, all the good work that they've just done, Boke has un, unravelled it for them. For just a moment there, their tyres were rock hard. <laughs> see it here both given too much uh, latitude that's too much space there he's had a big afternoon 20 disposals a couple of goals he's kicked 12 goals this season both five of them in the last two weeks three last week two today the best midfielders kick goals as well yeah. don't they speaking of midfielders that could kick goals cousins it's a lovely old kick though going forward by the tigers and that from post and now revolt he's had a little cameo role today so far well done, Carlisle, to Nash. And then Nash, who played oh. most of his footy under Knights, kicks the ball back to Tuck. And Tuck can go off now. Well, Stewart got him down almost. Tuck's wobbly kick. Awful. Yeah, that was a poor kick. He had to get it in longer. He took too many steps. He put himself under pressure. Just off the interchange, Davenport to Pierce. Good it's kick. Good kick over the back to Stewart, who has Shaw's running. But Stuart, well, that's a waste. Well, Shaws didn't help him out much there, no, did he? Could have shared Silly it, lead and all got to a better position. Mm. Yeah. Don't know what actually Schultz was trying to do. And don't know what Tuck was doing here either. Well, Schultz is probably still concussed. Well, he caught one in the head, didn't he? I know. We'll get him off the hook as best we can. There's Cousins. This will be an interesting kick. He's got to go over distance. Not too bad. Nahas takes it. He's not kicking through the ball, Ben Cousins, today. Didn't need to there, though. Morton gets up Nahas. Cousins can't, can't offer the run coming from behind. He was waiting for Cousins to bob up, but Cousins, I think, having difficulty accelerating. Meantime, Newman goes down towards half forward. On the lead, Rance. He's been lively on the forward line. It spills to Cotchen. Cotchen goes in and kicks a goal.
I know we say quite often, but there's very few footballers as balanced as Trent Concha when he has the football. Just a beautiful style. Almost he's gliding across the turf. He's moving pretty quick. It's a good piece of crumbing and a wonderful finish. Such a bright future. No doubt he'll be a leader of this club one day. This is a fantastic goal by Trent Koch and just poise and class and he is an absolutely fantastic player. He'll be the next captain of the Richmond Footy Club, I've got no doubt. His leadership coming out at half time and the team was down was fantastic. So two goals to Koch and last week, one today. There is first goal since round 10 last year. Edwards out of the centre. Maya, the former Tiger. Sloppy handball. White was good. Made it. 50 metres out. Looking go okay. Unbelievable oh. goal. Oh. They're roaring now, the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Roar! <laughs> well, it was a mongrel kick, but a great finish. He's kicked two in this quarter. Were you? I reckon it came off his shin. It was a good tackle there by King. They kept it alive, and that's a panic handball. Good, good um, use of the body. You'll see it though. He doesn't really get it. Oh, but you get this crowd involved. If they kick, mate, if they can narrow the margin to under five goals, well, they're really going at three quarter time, thinking they're a chance. And we've seen this young side with young legs, Bruce, finish games off. Well, <laughs> they've got us going. Oh, it was beautiful. So, a couple of bursts from White, and that really was a burst. Brogan and Post. Koch and good stuff, though, Broadbent. And then Brogan holding up in the tackle. He didn't have prior. It's immediately tackled. Against White, so... It's an important clearance here. Got a loose player back to Port Adelaide. Well. Funny thing about the day... Cousins, little give okay to Nahas, to Edwards, and then Edwards to Nahas. Now, this is a big kick. Oh, oh great smother. smother. Across the boot from Meyer, back inside. Nahas again. Well, does he? You betcha. What a goal. Well, I thought we'd just seen Smother of the Year and then all of a sudden he butters up and kicks one of the great goals. Brilliant piece of play. He was involved in three passages there, so was Ben Cousins. Look at that for a Smother at full stretch. They're able to stop it, but he followed up his good work and then slotted it through and all of a sudden the Tigers have a sniff. 29 points. Have a look at this smother. Oh, oh Superman-like. Brilliant. But. And Nahas has got the crowd up and going. Still no margin for error for the Tigers, though. Brogan goes after the football. Corns. Rogan stood his ground. Came out the other side. Well done. Good Walk tackle. under pressure. Spills to Corns. They need some old heads. Roden floats it inside the forward 50. Oh, a good fist there from Delidio. It seemed intended for Logan's chest. And the ball goes out of bounds. We've got a boundary throw in. Uh, look, I like Delidio at half back, but sometimes you want to use that kicking and that ball winning ability in the midfield. I reckon if yes. Richmond are to uh, be a real threat, get him in the middle, get class around the footy and let him use it. Now you're talking, Ox. Broadbent gathers the football, gives it across towards Gray. He was playing for a free kick, nothing doing. Edwards there got the hand pass to Delidio. Umpire got in the way. Crowd will be very unhappy. Delidio run down from behind. Well done by Martin, gets free. Collins meters in the clear. King. He's got the ball 60 meters out. King like a man at second slip. He got into the crack position and demanded the football. Now go back, Jake. This is your distance. This is where he's slotting him in the warm-up, Dennis. He was putting them over the goal umpire's hat. Well, the goal umpire wasn't out there, but he was putting them over the fence <laughs> before this, the game. This crowd is such a factor now, as we said, the largest crowd they've played in front of this season, caught 40,000 in a showdown. The smallest crowd against the West Coast Eagles a couple of weeks ago, 14,113 and 18 tarpaulins. There goes the kick from King. Hangs it up to the right, it's a minor score.
Well, he did put it over the umpire, so the trouble was Ox the umpire had to move. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Kat does kick a long ball. He does. Now, we've established that fact for sure, haven't we, Dan? Yes, yes. But so does Broden. Well, they're starting, to feel yes. the, they're starting to feel the pressure now, Port. The crowd's involved. West off the target. He's been a good target all day. Well done, Graham. Newman back inside. Couldn't quite. King Corns. Well done, Reeve. Corns has tackled to King on the left. King to full forward. Well done at the back by Chaplin. Well, they've had two big comebacks, Richmond, against the Swans and against the Crows. But nothing like this in terms of the margin and there's still a fair way down but as we've said for a while now it just feels a lot closer Newman runs it out well they've done they've done a really good job they, they've done a really good job here to get themselves back in the game they were 53 That's points down Bruce and they were out of it they didn't even look like winning the football yet alone having an opportunity at uh, maybe a final quarter got, uh, heroic comeback they got to 59 down Ox with Westhoff's opening goal here so back it goes well done by Boak in board, Broadbent always keeps his head over it. Westhoff kicks forward to beauty. And a guard, Leon. Logan gone. Took too long, run down from behind, holding the footy. Well, it is remarkable what we're witnessing here. If you want to know what 30 years of frustration sounds like, <laughs> just have a listen. There's Deledio from half back, oh, comes across play. the ground. Taylor tracks it. They've got the extra man. If the cavalry arrives quickly enough, that's holding the ball, surely. Oh, he's making a oh, genuine wow. attempt. <laughs> wow. Perhaps the umpire was on the wrong side. That's the best we can say. Just forward of the wing. Tigers have been terrific. They have found something. Cassisi dragged down. West off. Stewart, who's kicked a couple of goals, gets the spiral working. Deledia, that's a good mark. Not easy to catch that sort of spiral. Yeah, Martin. Newman. Martin is breaking to the outer side. I've told you once, Ox. Newman's got the football going down towards left half forward. Runs to 50. Terrible kick. Trengove on his chest. And the problem for Port in this situation, Ox, you expend so much energy because it feels like it's the last five minutes of the game. Yeah. And we've still got two plus a quarter. Rogan. Inside 50s in this quarter, 18 to 7. So it was all at the other end, wasn't it? All Port's in in the second term. Thomas's handball to Davenport. He runs his full Schultz. measure, kicks it hard and high, and Schultz almost oh. takes a good one. Logan, who's kicked a couple, gets the ball out wide. Stewart, who's kicked a couple, and not that time. Oh, it's ridiculous to say, Port lead by five, but they need a steadier. And the biggest stakeholder holder in all of this has got to be Matthew Primus. Yeah, he does. Mm. He's got his uh, hands wrapped around the job at the moment. You don't want to put any doubt into the minds of anybody. G. Roden. Oh, the man. Good Roden. He grabbed him. He positioned beautifully against Morton. Right there, Jake. Jake. Just got to get their numbers back here, the Tigers. Just to... The last thing they want is a goal kicked against them in the last minute. Move it on. So Roden is going to kick him up and under to full forward. Logan. Stewart at the oh. back. Good stuff there by Gerdes. Building it away. And the boundary throw. Nahas's goal and White's goal, the two real high points of this quarter, weren't they? There's the inside 50s. That's why they've got themselves back in the game. 18 to 9, where they were smashed in the second term, 20 to 9. About 25 minutes ago, the margin was 59 points. Now it's 50, or rather 28. As the Tigers bring it away again. Nice hard running from Newman. He started the game so well. Post gave it to him. White dropped the mark on the outer side. Working double time and there was Thomas. West off. Thought he had the football. Didn't. Down goes Collins. Or is it O'Reilly at the base of that no, pack? It's no, O'Reilly. Thomas on top on of him. You're lying on top of him. And Primus just feeling the heat for the moment. But you wouldn't know it to look at him. So much riding on the outcome of this game. I mean... It's not good on your CV to lead by 53 at halftime and drop it. Just looking at Dean Lady alongside him too. What an unusual year it's been for him. Going to Alberton for one and only year. With two coaches in the end, as it turned out. Got enough time here to get a score, to get it inside. He's rangy, Taylor, isn't he? Kicks to centre half forward. Not a good kick. And Westhoff, who's been very impressive, cuts it off. 
Little kick inside. More about Matthew Knight's situation at three-quarter time. But no longer coaching Essendon. Kick by Thomas to Roden. And Roden out wide to Pierce, who's just come off the bench now. Port with one last crack. Smithy off off the bench. Clutchen <laughs> came off. So that's two no un Australian acts, eh? In one. No <laughs> that was a good chase. <laughs> what a quarter of footy it's been. Oh. Clutchen was running like a librarian. He didn't <laughs> take a breath for the last 20 metres. <laughs> Well, we were hoping for something big today. We might have a big last quarter. A remarkable game so far. There he is going. What happened? <laughs> he thought I was the sneaky one. There you go. So three-quarter time, game very much alive. Port still with a big break, but Richmond coming. Yeah, I think three-quarter time came at a bad time. <laughs> Generally comes at about that time. Start of the final quarter. Stolen away by Boak. This is the problem. There is no margin for error. Goes looking for the lead from Schultz, and he takes the mark. The emotion just saps out for a moment or two. Hard to recapture. Everything was turned up to top volume, was including the, last... the crowd at three-quarter time. It was the last thing the Richmond folk wanted was an easy clearance, a mark inside 50. And if Schultz delivers, a little bit ironic being the next Tiger. Yeah, they've over 70 games for them. Here he comes, needs a good kick. That's pretty good. Post, oh, just grazes the post. Still, they've got it down their end and they need to play tight here. Chibok's been good, hasn't he? I mean, that yeah. clearance there, good kick inside. 24 possessions, two goals, one. He's had seven tackles. He's had three inside 50s. He's, uh, he's been three, six clearances. He's had a pretty big afternoon, hasn't he? Yeah. And the great thing about what we've got now, we've got two teams that can't play finals, but you feel like the stakes are high, don't you? You've got the primer situation, Cousins, obviously. Rogan's been very good. Play on, Dean, you're off your line. Play on. Corns, back to Brogan. He had to hack it forward in the end. Delidio underneath with Tuck. Logan's contest was terrific. Ball comes out. Broadbent's hands were good. And now Schultz on the left. Oh, he just can't buy a goal today. Jeez, he could have nailed, could have nailed the Tigers to the wall. It's his third shot today on goal and a couple of behinds only. He did get a nice size 11 to the face before, so he still might be seeing no. shoelaces. And he gets up the hook for about 20 Ten, minutes. Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right, no excuses. No. Tough school, but that's the way we are. Here's Newman. Not as out tough as Essendon. Out of the back pocket. No, that's, uh, that is abrupt. Knocked forward by Graham. Taken by Corns over the shoulder. Boak thought he had it for a moment. Thomas, ditto. He was getting into his move. Boak's over the football. Spills out the back. Brogan. Well, he slapped it to Nahas. Not his intention. Nahas to White. White, who provided a spike in the previous turn. Kicks it down towards Harford. Collins got an unkind bounce. Stopped him going forward. As a result, they combined pretty well down there. Port coming out and hand passing forward was Carlisle trying to find Boak, or was it Stewart? Doesn't matter. It was Boak initially, but coming away, Carlisle kicks in the midfield. Taken by Roden back to Carlisle. Takes on a would be tackler. Gives it to Westoff. Kicks towards half forward. Terrific stuff by Gudis. Good as tackled by Stewart. Stewart kept coming. Ball spills across to Logan. Look away, hand pass to Roden. Roden's hand pass forward. Boat kicks down towards full forward. He's off target as well. Close to the boundary line. Schultz kept it alive. Then he threw it back and stayed in. It's come to a dead halt. And now illuminated by Moore. That was different, wasn't it? And a good kick out to Taylor. They've got Rance on a long way down the ground. Good kick. Here's Rance. 
Another good kick to Post. Now, Post quickly on to Collins. We know he can kick goals in the last quarter, Collins. Remember against the Swans. Yeah, but he needs to be convinced. <laughs> he was knocked yeah, out, wasn't right. he? <laughs> well, you could just think I'm knocked out. Get, get in the zone. Well, he did cop a big um, big one before when yeah. he was down. He, he came back on. <laughs> You're trying to look on the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> the bloke's been flat and he's got to play better. He'll slot this. He did get uh, flattened against the Swans and was heroic in the last quarter mm. up to the near side. So a couple of misses, one at the other end by Schulz and now Collins. So there's still some tension in this game. One port goal changes all of that, but if the Tigers can get one in the next three, four minutes, who knows? But, gee, five goals in front of three-quarter time. I'd like to be backing those teams mm. over the course of ten years. Such an enjoyable afternoon, though. Graham in front. Cassisi held a long time on his knees. Gray did nicely. Got it out to Corns. Clever hand pass. Oh. Creating his own space. Brogan across to Stewart. Stewart, little chip along the wing at the interchange gates. Gray is away. Where's the movement up ahead? A couple of bounces. Gray all the time in the world. Measures the kick. Needs some torque. Schultz comes up. Man coming back. Thomas could have figured in that as well. He had two to choose from. And now Schultz, who, as we've said, hasn't kicked all that well today. Jake. Needs to slot this, but suddenly Port have regained their composure. It was this now. I'll tell you what that is. That's, that's basketball now. Small confined space, being able to find the way out. Good work. Yep. And he kept that pivot foot anchored. <laughs> no travelling. No travelling. Schultz. To silence the crowd. Not yet. Well. They've still got voice. The door is open. So Delidio, does he go long bomb here? Got to go long. Taylor's there, in, right up the centre. Got to get him on the ball, Delidio. Well, to himself, and now long bomb. So he gets the ball into the heart of the centre square. Oh! <laughs> well, Brogan uses a step ladder there, blocked by one by two. Cousins to White to Taylor. Now Taylor's 45 metres out oh. and he's missed. He's not quite the finished product but he's 18 years of age and there's a lot to like about what we've seen. Here it is. Take your pick. Oh, Brogan. <laughs> he's got two. I think he had four knees in the back of his head. Which, which post was higher of the two of them? <laughs> four points to three points in about the last quarter of an hour here. Young Moore, who's been OK, kicks it up towards the wing, but Tuck really the only man who charged at the footy. Little chip pass to Cousins. Cousins told to play on. Martin gets through, 55 metres out. Interesting-looking kick. It fluctuates in mid-air. It falls to Revolt. Revolt's taken down. Is that holding the ball? Yes. No. Well, you were listing what we were likely to see in this final term, Bruce. If in fact Richmond had to come from behind and win, then maybe some last term heroics from that man, Jack Revolt. Yep, you feel like he's going to have to kick a few. He's kicked one so Fire far on, today. Right, no prior. It hasn't been Jack's afternoon. He's, he's come up against a pretty good defender, though. Mm. Yep. And Chaplin's helped Carlisle out, yeah. he does so yep. well, but. A little bit of footy left for Revolt, perhaps. Morton, Nahas, and again he misses. Just uh, lacking a little bit of polish. Still, Port did the same thing at the other end, didn't they? Yep. Missed a few this turn. We've had eight consecutive points since the goal's been scored, so 27 points the margin. Such an important oh. first goal of this quarter, and... Richmond keep it in. It's been good wide, hasn't he? Yeah. Meyer occasionally likes to make it interesting, doesn't he? It certainly does. So boundary throw in. Can the Tigers snag something here? Graham lurking at the back. Cousins missed it. Roden's been a steady yes. hit at times. Gave it across to Corns, to Thomas. Feeds it back inside, but King is there to snare it. King looks towards the middle. Logan won't be back in time. In the hands of the experienced, or rather inexperienced, O'Reilly goes to post. Post is about 60 metres out from goal. 
measures the kick, rebound on the lead. That was a beautiful oh. kick coming in. Gee, that was Joe King's kick to center it, which was the setup. Beautiful kick. That's it. You're right. He's got the Carmen medal sewn up. We probably haven't spoken much about Jack today, but he's had a wonderful season. Should be very proud of what he's been able to achieve. Take his best and fairest, as we said on Wednesday night. And this man will be very prominent. You'd expect he'd have to win. Nice kick. Gets the goal. Tigers can still centre. Well, three and a half goals in footy. Only need a couple of minutes. And they're coming. This is the kick. That's the brave kick that needed to be executed. Really been happy with this young man. He was knocked out also before O'Reilly. This good kick. Mm. He just waited, put it out in front. A good finish by a good full forward. Kick seven of the last eight, the Tigers. Revolt for the 20th time this year, kicks more than one in a match. And this was a terrific kick by King and another good kick from Post at the end of that with O'Reilly in the middle and then Revolt finishes it off. Cousins. Moore dragged down. Good tackle, Thomas. This is an important ball to be won now. Groven brought down. Gray, no free kick. Graham, little handball was very effective from Cotchin. Go, go. Cousins, Cousins on. not a good handball behind Morton. Morton had to wait for it. Cousins he knows, is... yep. I think he's in strife. Well, he hasn't been right all day, has no, he? No, no. He's playing right on the edge, and you see just here, he just doesn't want to take off. So still a big clearance to be won. Port need a goal. Cousins again. That's better. Delidio. Long ball. Where's Revo? There he is. Not quite. Collins. Here they come again. You just need faith, Dennis. <laughs> you just need faith. Uh, this will be remarkable. The last two clearances, Cousins. G Revolt was good there, wasn't he? Uh, yeah. And that's what we talked about before with um, Delidio coming in off half back. I reckon get him in the midfield. He's got the good leg. He can boot it. There's the Cousins family. Up goes Graham, knocks it down. And again, stolen away out of the middle by Boak. Goes after his own footy, Boak. Here comes King on the angle across. Boak tackles in. Oh, in the back, says the umpire. King gets the free. Oh, right. immediately. Goes to the other side of the ground. Now, this guy can kick a goal. Morton lines up. It's on the way. It's through. <laughs> Nine points the difference. I'll tell you the bloke that's given them a sniff, Jake King. Yeah. You see the free kick. Yeah, it was out too high in the back. He centered the ball before. His field kicking has been outstanding. He's worked so hard on getting that right. Now, this is a bit of a fighting goal, but oh, they're up the Tigers. They certainly are, but it's uh, electric down here. This is the loudest crowd for 35,000 I've ever heard. And I give Richmond a massive chance now. I don't think you did, Ben, no. No. <laughs> no you did right, Richo. You are Richo. spot on. I'm sticking to my guns. Don't yep. pick on Den, Richo. I'm with him. I thought Port was certain is. No team's ever come from 53 points down at half time and won. Stewart, Rance. Well played, Paul Stewart, and then spirals it forward. Almost a good mark by Grimes. Connors into the centre. Edwards wide. Not a good kick. He had some chances. They might get another jump. Should have taken the mark. King's been magnificent. He's been the spark. Out wide, Morton again. He'll take it. And as Dennis said, he can kick a goal. Oh, they're all over them at the moment. They're running. Jake King, he's been the difference. Yeah. 
Well, we've had a lot, a lot, but he's been a real spark, hasn't he? Lack of confidence by the port player in the middle. I'm not sure Broad, who it was. Broadbent. Broadbent. Broadbent had, had to take the mark. But no one was speaking to him. He knew that he was under pressure, but didn't realise he had, he had a little bit of space. So Mitch Morton has kicked two second-half goals. He's a fair way out. He gets close to the man on the mark. He's hit it well. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh. The hair on the back of the neck standing up. Oh, it's a tsunami right now. Isn't this it? is unbelievable. Da Damien Harwick, it's almost lost for words. Damien Harwick, the, the anguish on his face when they're walking down the race at half time, what he has said and what this young group has been able to produce is just nothing oh. short of amazing. Seen some emotional games of footy, but this is uh, this is right up there. Have a look at this. Wow. Well, moments to be special in footy have to be born out of nothing much. And this game seemed all over at half time. Down goes Martin, got the hand pass all the way to White though. White slips it away. O'Reilly, 52 metres out, the high ball down towards full forward. This Oh, oh, this proceeds the fence, gives up another goal. That's a free kick. A free kick. Oh, this is going to deflate the balloon. What a party pooper. So, cool push. a holding or a push. Yeah. And the free kick is going to Chaplin. I think holding, holding there. You're right, Dennis. It comes out off hands and across the boundary line. The margin is three points. Well, spare a thought in all of this for Matthew Primus, who was actually, I think, doodling and working out the decor in his office. And suddenly, mm, mm, not his just yet. Throw it in. Graham missed it. Neither Ruckman touched it. Falls behind. Over the football is Morton. Over the top of him, Cassisi. Ball slow to release. Cassisi's got it now. Morton Wait, looks to the umpire. We'll have a ball give him a chance to get it out. Well, I, I'm not sure if Matty Promise could have done much more, to tell you the truth. It, it, Richmond it, it went up a serious amount in intensity, but they've just been, they've just been cleaner. Broadbent, good to Davenport, to Logan. And then Logan's kicks a good one, I reckon, to oh, Stewart. Beauty. Fuck. Spot on, Bruce. That so, was a wonderful kick. Mm. Those uh, misses by Schultz may prove to be very costly. Well, Stewart, a left footer. He's kicked a couple of goals. He could dog this. He take his best. Bit of pressure, too. It's a good kick. It's coming back. He's got it. It's right, a great kick. goal. Oh. Oh, what a beautiful kick. And, and the Logan kick in and then the finish. Yeah. Just, just wanted to see the ball on the on, right on the goal line here. I'm not sure who was defending for the Tigers, but, gee, they needed a um, they needed their ruckman down there. Got to have your tall timber on the line. When a player's kicking from 50, you've got to have someone there that could possibly touch it. Wonderful kick. Mm. Let's have a look at this. Now, I'm not sure if anyone would have been able to get to no, it. Probably no, not. No. 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 It was cleared the line quite easily. So the margin, nine points. Pulsating affair at the dome. Good bounce. Brogan beaten by post. Corns had it ripped away by Cotchin. Spills to White. West off trying to get through. Did nicely. Corns feeds it back. Heard a voice. Tread go. Needed a kind bounce. Then needed a kick. In goes Corns. Wonderful desperation by He's Rance. Gone. Held to Corns. Oh, will ball it up. Well, Corns was away there, just, I think, hoping to push the ball to a teammate out wide, but Rance had other ideas and just got in there and made the ball his own. West off over the top. This guy has been a catalyst in the final term. Morton, close to the boundary line. High ball. Port need a fist. Going back, Brogan dropped the mark. 
spills, slapped out of there by Chaplin. Falling to the ground was Nash. Over the football is Moore. Oh, what a baptism. And we'll have a ball up. up. There's still plenty Henry. of time. Still a lot of time Henry. left. See, they're pushing though, the Tigers. I kick the next one. You listen to the roar from the crowd. Post over the top. Right held up. Right, south to him. Up. That's which I said before. I don't think we've heard too many crowds of this size <laughs> deliver the roar that we heard when the goal was disallowed before. Post lays it down. Collins kicking forward. It wasn't Collins, obviously. I mean, no. It wasn't Co Cotchen, Cotchen, it was yeah. Cotchen kicking forward. That's the best result, though. Throwing right on the... Um, right on the uh, point post rather than going through from behind. Mm. So Post and Brogan and Westoff. So two port. Westoff worked well for them in the end. Cassisi though out the back. Mm. Had to search for it a bit young Grimes and then the tackle came from Logan and a ball up. Jeez. Just Graham probably had to call him there. So it's a massive effort for Richmond to get up to here. Port got the last goal. They lead by kicking a bit. Westhoff has been good, directed it down. Cassisi had his kick smothered. Morton, his kick was touched. Graham was slung across the boundary by Trengo. Geez, he's very tired. Big Angus Graham. He's worked pretty hard today. Come up against a warrior in Dean Brogan. Yep. And he's been worked into the ground. At least Brogan's got a bit of support. Graham virtually is one out. Yeah, a lone hand. And the two big guys combining there, Trengove, after Brogan knocked it down. That's a good hand pass. Went the deeper one, taken by good Broadbent. Kick. Lovely kick. And this guy's been important. They've been attacking through Logan. He's got it. He's waiting for Schultz to clear. They will kick it in that direction. Here's the master of the Czechoslovakian iPhone kick. It just drips in behind the defender. Balls out of bounds. We'll have a throw in. That was almost on the money yep. again. And it was a nervous time for Gudis. Boundary throw in. It's a set play that they've done that a few times today. That they just they push right up the ground and then they run back into space. And that's where they kick it to. He makes you think he's going to kick it somewhere, then he kicks it somewhere else. Westoff worked underneath. Cassisi chasing hard. Good smother though by Newman. The two captains together. Nash has a lovely kick. Now that was class because he pulled the kick and he had to pull it not only pull it in distance but he had to pull it across his body not an easy kick to do and Boke's a good man to have right now he's gone from can't kick a set shot to can't miss a set shot today well he's had them all directly in front virtually this is about getting the distance isn't it and he kicked three last week and this would equal a career high with three again today you reckon he might get another three two from the umpires don't you yeah he's had 26 yeah. possessions he's been outstanding it would be fitting if he kicks the goal, which would probably get Port home, you think. Good looking kick. He's done a great job. He's kicked three and Port sneak away. It's a good finish. Three goals from a midfielder. We gave you the stats before six clearances, six marks, three inside fifties, seven tackles. And I think you can't un underestimate his work ethic. He just doesn't give up. He lays tackles. Really good to see his body right too. You could tell he was playing injured in the, in, injured in the first half a dozen games of the season. Well, the same amount of shots a goal. 29 shots each. And a 15-point lead to Port. They're still not out of it, though, the Tigers. No, there's time enough. But just for the moment, momentum has shifted. Trend go brilliantly with the oh. left hand. Boke missed the football. Fed out of there by Newman. Cochin kicking the towards hard forward. Nash has been OK. Got a hand to that one. Goes after the footy. Came across to Edwards. Now an opportunity for Cochin who'd run on. Goes looking inside the forward 50. Missed down there initially by Post. Came back to him from Collins. The kick not so flash. Wanders towards the opposite pocket. Ball untouched. Well done by Paul Stewart. Slapped it out. Tracking it back is Edwards. Hard against the line. Needs something freakish. Corns has to go from behind. Didn't stay on the deck. Well done there by Carlisle. Got a hand pass out. Awkward bounce for Thomas. Brilliant run down by Rance. A la Tim Watson. Thomas oh. comes away. Straddled a fallen player. Kicks it up towards oh. the wing. And the mark okay. is taken by Stewart. No need to hurry, son. 
and they've got two men going down the ground. It was a tough task for White to cover both of them. Boak was one, and he goes to Gray. Now, Gray kicked a freak goal down this end earlier. This should be a mere bagatelle. That was a beautiful, beautiful piece of play by Boak. His running ability was outstanding. He just worked so hard to get to that ball. Good mark here, too, in a one-on-one. -on -one. By Stewart. He's going to be a very good player for them. Mm. And the temperament of a couple of these players for court tested. Gray comes in, and each one of them in turn has passed the test with flying colours. Well, they were severely challenged, weren't they? <laughs> the crowd was up, they were on their way. Each of their goals have been similar, though, haven't they? There's, there's, there's been a market centre win, yeah. a good kick in. Generally Logan, somewhere yep. in the mix. Stuart important there. And Boke and Gray, eh? Yeah. Sound good in the one sentence, don't they? Yeah, cream rises to the top when challenged. I really thought the Tigers were going to overrun them, but they put the wall up. I think Matty Primus is back in the office then. Yes. He's back just working on it, but Boke and Gray, as I mentioned a moment ago, lovely in the same sentence, those two guys. Stuart an important mark, and Port of... We stood the challenge really well here with the last three goals. And suddenly the time does become a bit of a factor. Cousins out of the centre. Edwards had to chase. Pierce to Lidio. That was terrific. Wide to Connors. Takes a bounce. Takes a risk. Runs hard. Centre half forward. King. <laughs> well, he sparked them, didn't he? He's been terrific. Can he yeah. keep the spark alive here? Oh, I just love blokes that have a go and... He was heavily criticised at the start of this season, but I, he's proved he's proved a lot of people wrong, and I think they've found a spot for him now. It's a great handball by Delidio. Yeah, it? it was. It was strength. Well, he's been kicking magnificently all day, King, and this does keep Richmond in the match. He's kicked three. There's still a roar in the Tiger. Well, a slight chance. Slight chance, centre clearances. Now they have no margin for error. For error, They need to be able to get the clearance and get it inside. Port Adelaide was smart. They'll just drop a number or two back into the hole. But they haven't given up. And I think that's the proud thing that Richmond supporters should, be, should take away from today, that they were 53 points down. They got to within three points, and they still haven't thrown in the towel. 59 points, in fact, as they kicked the first goal of the... Uh, of the uh, third, third term as yeah. well. So, yeah, they're, they're really good signs for a young list. Doesn't fit the mould of a dangerous small forward, but, gee, he's become that. You'd say deep in attack for the Tigers, only Jack Revolt is more dangerous. Edwards tracks it down towards oh. half forward. Logan went to ground, tried to help the ball on its oh. way. Oh, brilliant. Davenport, look away, hand pass. Roden goes in, should have given it over the top, hey. misses. It's a bad miss. What yeah. about the handball, though? Yeah, sure. Like Davenport. Brilliant. Well, the ex-Tigers refuse to kick a goal. Chills and Roden has got one earlier, but... Just a bit of love there still. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Newman to himself. It was magnificent play. The Davenport handball was a beauty. Newman. Deledio was the target. Cassisi. Well done by Edwards. And then Pierce puts the tackle on and Boak. Well, it's just been a great game of footy in the end. I mean, at half time, and the crowd, what is it, like 37? 37,674. About 30 of those port supporters. Boat get another clearance. Stewart, so important. Back to Broadbent, and Broadbent misses. Oh, dear. So, missed the lot. So, he's kicked a couple of behinds, Broadbent, and missing. So, they've just got to get the ball from one end to the other in a hurry. Well, when they get inside their forward line, the Tigers are dangerous, but they need it to really link up now. So Delidio takes off, has a bounce, runs to the opposite pocket, feeds more, more, a little triple on the boundary line, Cousins in his last game. He started as a 17-year-old for the West Coast Eagles, round four, 96, his first opponent, Martin McKinnon, there's a man. Against the line. Goes for distance, pushed under the football, appeared to be mild, no free kick, did okay, came back, got the footy, gave it to Westhoff, 
Westhoff had his kick smothered. It takes a port bounce. Roden got away. Did the 360, but the tackle broke. Goes down towards the pocket, Davenport. Wrong end of the ground for the Tigers. Davenport did well. Boat the high ball from behind. Terrific Ooh. mark. This kid is going to be something. Gee, that's a beautiful grab. Beautiful grab. Just... Uh... Haven't seen too much of him, but he's got a good set of hands. He's got a good yeah. kick on him. He's the future of this football club in many respects, forward of centre. And that's the 23rd mark inside 50, Dennis. Yeah. It's been the difference, isn't it? And they're kicking. I mean, they're kicking yeah, yeah. to set up a lot of those marks. Yep. Even that was a good kick. They put it up where it was best for this man to get. In he comes, kicks it, and that might be just about oh, it. Valiant Tigers, but when it counted, it was the proficient port. They'll still take a lot out of this. Even though they're going to get beaten, they have not given up. They have given 100% from start to finish, or not from the start, start of the third term. You just see here, King. Westhoff goes down. Yeah, don't know if there's much in that. Dennis? Couldn't see his arm was in the way. Just a good grab. That's Beautiful a terrific grab. Terrific mark. Four goals to Daniel Stewart today. So Warren Treadray retiring a few weeks ago. Ben Cousins, of course, the big story from today. The Tigers have gone down fighting, but Port have been very impressive. Richmond have got a lot to be proud of, I think, this year, and they've done a good job after halftime. Cotchin's mark. He's a beauty. His figures uh, today, he's had 20 coming in for his second goal. And Port, highest score this year was 112 last week against Melbourne going into today. So their two highest scores for the season have come in rounds 21 and 22. So Cochin, is it online? It is. Richmond keep the scoreboard ticking over. But Port surely home now. Well, a minute 33 left in uh, left for the Tigers' season and also Port' season. Chips good play. Mm. When they've got it inside quick like that, they've actually they've troubled Port, but yeah. it's around the middle of the ground where they've turned it over, which has caused them issues. Well, it's man on man at both ends of the ground, so you've always got a chance if you take it in, haven't you? As distinct from extra numbers back, which makes it tougher. We were talking about the volume of 30 years before. Interesting, I was talking to a good judge in Perth the other day. The last Premiership captain for the Tigers, Bruce Monteith. Very clever player, gifted player. His son is having a wonderful season in the midfield for East Fremantle. Still only 23. That's where they've got to get better. Apparently this young fellow Kim Monteith as the kick comes in from Edwards towards the opposite pocket doing well Thomas stifles it and the clock runs down to 114 Kim Monteith apparently very much like Liam Anthony played his junior football with Liam just one of those guys who gets possessions off yeah. they need guys in the midfield who can use the footy so we might see tradition pass down another Monteith for the Tigers yeah. a lot to look forward to for the Tigers and Jack gets his third goal no, hang on Hang on. Hold the phone. Hang on. Surely not. Surely not. Bruce? Surely not. How many twists and turns can a match have? Wouldn't it be something if they took it forward and cuz oh, kicked no. one? He could. No. Gee, we're never going to forget this day, are we? It's been remarkable. You would think Porter dropped a couple behind the ball. So, time for two clearances, maybe. Matt doesn't care about his office. He's just going, oh. ah, yes, now one's going back. So, the last minute in an unforgettable career for Ben Cousins. What a second half the Tigers have played. Port with a 10-goal second quarter. Boat's been magnificent. Kick to centre wing, bouncing ball. Belted by Westhoff forward. Stewart, a real star with his four goals. Back to Westhoff. Dangers passed. Morton's been good. To Newman. And Newman, here he is, Cousins. He's got it. 
for one last time. Oh. But he sets up his mate who, who loves that situation. He gets it back again, Ben. Can't quite find the target. Thomas to himself, going forward. Cotchen down low. Corns his handball. Waiting for it, Pierce. Cousins involved. Scoops it out. Right to the end, cuts. There you go. And gets one of the last kicks of the day. That's fitting. Towards the outer side, bit of a scuffle going on too, if I'm not mistaken. Jake King involved, the lead over Graham. Graham goes down towards half forward. Back comes Moore. Oh. That was his brother. That was Pettigrew over the top. There's the siren. And what an enjoyable afternoon it was. Terrific game of football. Port Adelaide prevail. 18-14, 122. And the Tigers going down valiantly. That's their biggest turn of the season. They left the best till last. In that quarter, they kicked seven goals free. Travis, uh, how did you enjoy that? I had a fantastic atmosphere for a round 22 game. Yeah, that's probably one of the best crowds I've played in for a while, and uh, you know, round 22 was fantastic. Obviously, Cousins' last game was fantastic to be involved. And did you think you guys were going to?